Hi darlings, welcome to the latest edition of my cover look series. I'm here today with the gorgeous, divine Emma Louise Colony to recreate the look that I did on Jennifer Aniston for this Allure cover. It's the Golden Goddess look. And she literally is one of my Golden Goddess inspirations of life. And we can now find out, finally, how to get the Jennifer Aniston look that I created for Allure magazine. Mwah! Hope you enjoy. So we started off by using the Overnight Bronze and Glow Mask to give you that gorgeous glowing skin, which you do have. Which I love. The amazing tint to it. Um, this is fantastic if you want to get, you know, I love it. I mean, yeah. literally, this saves my life when I'm on and off planes and I'm like, please put the health and the glow back into give my skin. Glow. And then we'll just rub that in and leave it on for 15 minutes and then away we go. Put it over your mouth and just rub it in for literally like a few seconds. Mm -hmm and it just is the most unbelievable lip balm ever. Okay, so now we're gonna put on my magic cream and this, obviously, I can't do a makeup without this. You know, for all those golden goddesses, that's what we want. We want that kind of, it's all about that golden, glowy, youthful skin. So, magic eye rescue. We're going to put that on. This is my life saver. I know, this you obsessed my, with this. I love it. I put it all over my face. It'll be the first signs yeah. of like where you'll see anything, exhaustion, tiredness, exactly. you know, anything will be show up around your eyes. So next, this one, this is like, I might say, this feels like I kind of shrunk your vibe now. It's like, this is like... <laughs> Me in a bottle. Yeah, you in a bottle, exactly. That is very much kind of the inspiration of this product. And it also has hyaluronic acid and bionic peptides, so it's plumping the collagen, putting the water back into your face. It's really an incredible skincare product and gives you this kind of golden lip from within glow. So now I'm going to use Magic Foundation yep. and I'm going to mix so two so colours. So I'm going to mix a little bit of seven and eight together. Okay. I'm going to take my foundation brush and like just match it onto your neck. So yeah, make sure that blends beautifully. Um, I love Magic Foundation because it has supercharged vitamin C in it, not that you have any spots, but it will dry out the sebum in your skin. So it's amazing for acne. It's great also for lines. You don't have any lines, but it fills in lines over mm. six hours. It has hyaluronic filling spheres. This little baby took me five years to develop. Um, it was probably the longest product before I kind of, you know, um, the incense of my brand where I really wanted like a, a total coverage foundation and I just could not find anything yeah, that I liked. So hard. You know, Emma actually kind of reminds me a bit of Jennifer, the kind of colouring and, you know, it's sort of, nice, nice, nice. yes, gorgeous. So now I'm going to use that other retoucher. Well, we've all got a little bit of discoloration yeah. around the eyes, some more than others and some less. I mean, you don't have to say you have that much but it still like bounces out the light and makes you just more awake and youth boosted. Mm. Use my finger to just pat it, work it into mm. the skin. And that way it doesn't sort of sit like on top of the skin. Who is it? Lauren Hutton, who's another golden goddess. She always taught me to kind of just do a little like fairer line down the nose and gives you amazing contour. I'll put a little bit around your mouth. And sometimes it's quite good when you're putting lipstick on this retouch to kind of just go around and define your lips and kind of bring them out. So I'm now going to use my mineral Cro eye wand. Now this has this amazing serum yeah. on this side. And I love kind of like putting that around the eyes and that sort of, again, if you're like in a hurry or feeling a bit kind of exhausted, you just pop a little bit of that and it kind of refreshes and sort of lifts and smooths the eye area. Mm. And then on the other side, we've got this amazing light reflector, which you can pop on. And that. It erases the tiredness almost from your mind. My airbrush flawless finish powder. I'm just going to put a little bit on the T zone. Yeah, that's always. A little bit on the forehead. I just do that around the sides of the nose, a little bit here under the eyes. Gorgeous. So I am going to do a supermodel brow on you because you're a supermodel. Yay. Now I know that you love I the secret little compartment inside this. this. You just pop under the eyes there. It's like a little highlighter and it just kind of really accentuates that little arch it's amazing. underneath the eyes. And we're going to... I love the shape of the pencil. How it's in... It's triangle. Yeah, it kind of like mimics the way your hairs naturally grow. Yeah. And I'm just going to fill them in a little bit with this because it just little strokes. 
And then I know you love this too. I love it. I just love eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so good. Well, eyebrows are the pillars of the face. This is so fantastic because this literally paints in the tiniest little hairs yeah. that you thought you had. I have so the... many people asking me what I use on my eyebrows and this is what it is. There we go, perfect. Okay. Now we're going to use my life-changing eyelash curlers in rose gold. So now I'm going to use my Golden Goddess palette. So we're starting off by using my blender brush mm -hmm. and my prime shade. And I'm just using that backwards and forwards all over the eye lids like that. And that will just kind of just prime the entire eye area. And then I'm going to use the um, enhanced shade and I'm just going to take that with the same blender brush. It's kind of like a really gorgeous sort of like mushroomy brown slate. It's just such a fab colour this. So I've taken my enhanced shade and I've just put that into the eyes and I've gone backwards and forwards like that into the socket. Mm, the brush feels dreamy as well. It's like, oh. It feels like Bambi's tail. <laughs> <laughs> And my next step, so the other colour that I used on Jennifer when I was doing that cover is, is the smoke shade. And I took that and kind of put it in the outer corners of the eyes and went backwards and forwards into that kind of V and then went into the socket. And that just creates great depth and definition to your eyes, so mm. pretty. The great thing about this palette and what's so fantastic about it is it just is like the kind of the youthful eye palette that sort of looks great on everyone. And now I'm going to take my smudger brush and dipping that into the same shade, into the smoke shade, and look up for me and I just put a little bit on her underneath the eyes. And again, just go three quarters of the way along. So now we're going to get hold of those fabulous lashes and put lashings of my Full Fat Lashes Mascara on. Tape the end point of the brush, and I'm, which has been specially laser cut to do the bottom lashes. So I'm now going to use my original Film Style Guns and Glow palette. This is the easiest way to contour in the world and the most fabulous highlight you'll ever come across. So I'm going to use my sculpt brush to sculpt the cheekbones and then I'm going to dip it into the highlight to highlight the cheekbones. Follow the hollow. Love it. <laughs> it. This is the one kind of makeup artist kind of product that sort of everyone uses because it just makes it so natural, right? If you use so nothing natural, else. Yeah. Jennifer Lopez is somebody else who I always think of as a golden goddess. I'm just going to use her kind of trick. And so I always kind of like to take this, dip it into the scalp brush and go down the side of the nose and then right underneath mm. to kind of lift it up. Again, we're going to dip it into the highlight shade and we're just going to put that on top of the cheekbones. What this does is it really kind of accentuates the um, amazing contours and highlights of your cheekbones. So it really brings them out. And then I also use this down the centre of the nose. Mm. It's a great kind of way. And then onto the bow of the lip because that really kind of brings out. So I'm now just going to pop a little bit of the highlight into the other corner just to open up the eye. And this really widens the eyes and it is a kind of a sign of beauty actually to have sort of wider eyes. And so this brush, kind of when you're using it, you kind of, an is that exactly an all over sort of sun kiss look. And then a little bit into the neck. Mm. This is the lip liner that I used on the cover of Allure on Jennifer Aniston. So I love Pillow Talk. The colour yeah. is amazing. It matches my lips perfectly. That was the whole point when I was creating it. I now get it. it. Pillow Talk. Yeah, Pillow Talk. Okay, good. And now we're going to use this lip colour and it's called Stoned Rose. Lipstick Tree is the kind of ingredient inside it and it's just sort of it's so moisturising. So we're going to put my Ibiza Nights lip I gloss. Now I wonder why we called it that. <laughs> it just looks gorgeous on everyone. This really pretty kind of rose gold that's sort of very neutral and glossy that just looks, just makes you just look healthy and mm. dewy and lush and fresh. And now I'm going to use a bit of my Ecstasy blush. So smile for me. 
and you kind of pop it onto the cheekbones and then sort of swish. And it kind of, it's, it's got finely milled kind of gold pigments in it, so it really just, you know, you blush from kind of epicenter. So I always finish every cover look and every red carpet look with my Supermodel Body. This is a fabulous product. We just put that literally on your arm like that, roll it oh, on, no. and then rub it in. So I always finish every look, as mm -hmm. you know, with my scent of a dream halo. Oh, it's so I good. just go around in an arc. <laughs> mm, arc me. So there you have it, the gorgeous Jennifer Aniston Allure cover look on the beautiful Emma Louise Connolly. <laughs>